Breaking news. President Muhammadu Buhari reports Boko Haram and bandits to United Nations. Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari has spoken against bandits and Boko Haram at the United Nations General Assembly. President Muhammadu Buhari on Tuesday reported Boko Haram and bandits to the international community as he said that Nigeria was still batting Boko Haram and bandits. President Muhammadu Buhari's message was contained in his pre-recorded address to the United Nations General Assembly. He urged countries to take a strong action against illicit flow of small arms and light weapons. Nigeria remains deeply concerned over the illicit trade, transport, transfer, and circulation of small arms and light weapons particularly on the continent of Africa. In Nigeria, we are still facing violent est extremism from the insurgency of Boko Haram and bandits, he said. He noted that Nigerian counts on cooperation with neighboring or neighbors and United Nations counter-terrorism to overcome terrorists in the Lake Chad and the wider Sahel region. The President Mohamed Buhari said that his administration would sustain the rehabilitation, reconstruction, and resettlement of victims of terrorism and insurgency in the Northeast. On COVID-19, the Nigerian leader added that his voice, he would use his voice to support and supply of safe and effective COVID-19 coronavirus vaccine to all. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Hmm. Are you sure? Are we sure that President Modibua reported um, this bandit and Boko Haram to the United States? Are you sure about that? If, if, if he did, why can't he report IPO members too? The Apple members who, who he prescribed as the terrorist organization? Or is he afraid of uh, the questioning from the international community? Is he afraid of the question they will ask him if he dare mentions IPO? Will he? Did he? Is he afraid? This is so so pathetic. You call someone a terrorist group and you cannot even uh, report the person to United Nations. You are reporting the real criminals, the real terrorists. That is why you are reporting them because they are real terrorists. But IPOP are innocent ones. I said it, I'll still, I'll still keep asking, why didn't he report IPOP? Or is he afraid of que being questioned by this international community? The international community, community who recognized IPOP members as the most peaceful organization on earth. So they will not even listen to him, even if he says such a thing, or even if he reports IPOP to international community. They will question him because international community, UN, uh, UN there's so much respect and support Biafran agitation. So who are you? Who is President Modu Buhari to call them a terrorist group? Who is, who is the president more right to, 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 to keep calling people names? Because he's the leader. This is not fair. I'm so surprised. What about the Fulani killers? He's backing those, those ones. He's backing them up with his water resources bill and ruga. God will definitely avenge the blood of those innocent people on President Modi Buhari, those people that have been killed by this Boko Haram and bandits. President Modi Buhari and these people will never go scot free. This should have been handled long time ago. This report should have been handled, handled long time ago. Why is it now? And I'm very much sure that he cannot even uh, report IPOP and bandits to Nigerian, uh, Nigerians. Uh, uh, operatives. They cannot. 
because he knows what they will do to them. He's trying to protect these people. He's trying to protect them from being persecuted. This is why he, has, he, he went to, to, to the United Kingdom, United Nations, to report these people to the international community. Why can't he report the Boko Haram and Bandi to Nigerian operators? Imagine this, so viewers. You have heard it all from the writer and what President Modu Buhari did to the Boko Haram and bandits. So, what's your comment on this? Your comment concerning this is this kind of news is very much important. You know what this news is all about. You know people, the people that are in this news, and the ones that the statement they made. So your comment concerning this news will be appreciated if you can drop them below the comment box. Also click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever, whenever I publish any new videos. Thank you.